Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 7 of the Universe Mode series. Sorry it's been so long, I've been busy, but we are here for episode 7, and we're starting things off with Seth Rollins coming out to the ring. He is the United States Champion. He is coming out. He has something to say to all of us. No one knows what he's coming out here to talk about, but he is here to make an announcement of some kind so Seth Rollins is here ladies and gentlemen and he is going to be talking here tonight but yeah our United States champion is here Seth Rollins Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your United States champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And I've got something to say. I'm not like any other champion on this channel. You see, I am the best champion. And to be the best champion, I'm not just going to sit in the back and wait for my match at the pay-per-view. I'm going to come out here every single night and I'm going to defend my title to prove why I am the best champion. So to anyone in the back who thinks they have the guts to take on the best champion, come on out here so I can prove you wrong. Who will answer the call of Seth Rollins? An amazing announcement right there. Who the... Who is... Oh my gosh! No way! Suicide from TNA. He's here on the channel now. Such an amazing competitor here tonight for Seth Rollins. This, uh, everyone in the arena is shocked. I am speechless, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what to say. Suicide is here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is for the United States Championship. For some reason, it did not show the animation there, but this is for the United States Championship. It is on the line here in this match. Everyone excited for Suicide. His very first match on the channel just happens to be for the United States Championship. I am still shocked. That suicide is here. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Suicide. Starting things off here with a nice neck breaker. Oh, and the punches. Oh, and down goes Seth, but he's right back up. Seth Rollins stated earlier that he is a fighting champion. And he brought back the United States Open Challenge. Well, introduced it here on battle the people in WWE did do a United States Open Challenge and now Seth Rollins is starting that legacy here on the channel suicide looking pretty good so far nice backbreaker there oh and a punch to the face Oh, oh, but Seth Rollins just got taken down. But now Seth Rollins has a nice move of his own. Down goes Suicide. Will Seth Rollins retain the title, or will Suicide become our new champion? Oh, Suicide went for the... Spinning elbow there, but he missed it. Oh, and a nice kick to the back of the head by Seth Rollins. 
Oh, and he's got him in a submission move now. Will Suicide tap out? He does not. Oh, Suicide went for the punch, but Seth Rollins got him in an arm bar. Oh, wait, no, he's got him in an STF. A move made popular by John Cena. Will he tap out? Seth Rollins lets him go. He lets him off easy. Into the corner now. Pushed off by Suicide. Throwing him into the other corner. Oh, and a nice knee to the stomach there now. Suicide. He's going for the apron leg drop. And there it is. He hits it. Oh, he misses the elbow drop. Seth Rollins back up, kicking him now. Oh, right into the corner. And suicide with a neck breaker there. Knees to the face of Seth Rollins. And the kick. Suicide putting up a really good fight in his very first match. Answering Seth Rollins' call in the United States Open Challenge. The first ever United States Open Challenge, might I add. Oh, and he's got him across his knee. That had to hurt the, the back of Seth Rollins. The knee going into the spine. And now Suicide. Throwing Seth Rollins into the corner. Now Suicide. The nice. Oh, he's, he's got him shoulders down. Oh, and it's a two count. I was I thought we were about to have a new champion. Oh, and the foot onto the elbow of Seth Rollins. Suicide, like I said, putting up a really good fight. And down goes Seth. This might be it. Oh, but he kicks out. Seth Rollins saves himself in this matchup. Oh, but Suicide... He's got him in the arm bar submission. Will Seth Rollins tap out? He gets out of it. Suicide with the punches. Oh, and the drop kick there. Oh, but pushed off by Seth Rollins. Oh, collar and elbow tie up. And down goes Rollins with the kick there now. Neck breaker by Seth Rollins. Oh, and down goes Suicide. Oh, and the kick to the face. This might be over. Oh, but he's in the ropes. It's not over yet. It's over when Seth Rollins says it over. And it might be over. There's the curb stomp. Oh, but suicide right back up. Oh, but Seth Rollins with the meteora there. Oh, and, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Suicide debuting on the channel. Answering Seth Rollins' call. But yet again, Seth Rollins retains the championship. Sorry to see Suicide lose. But I mean, it was just his first match on the channel. Definitely be, will be seeing him a lot in the future. Welcome to battle. And um, Suicide getting a little taste of... What happens here in battle? Seth Rollins, our United States champion. Definitely a very good wrestler on the channel. But yes, Seth Rollins does retain his championship. But that just makes the question, who 
will answer the call next. Now the next match we have scheduled for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is Guile versus Jimmy Coldblood. Guile, of course, from Street Fighter. Um, same as Ryu, who are both part of the roster. Um, and Jimmy Coldblood is a subscriber. So here comes Guile. Like I said, he is from Street Fighter. He is on the roster. Guile prepared for this match against Jimmy Coldblood. And here he comes. I believe this is his first match, actually, both of these men. I believe. I'm not positive on that. Here we go, Jimmy Coldblood. A nice forearm to the face of Guile. Both of these men quite tall and very muscular builds. Oh wow, and Guile with a nice springboard move. You don't see that much from larger men like these two. These two large men are jumping around like cruiserweights. But yeah, I believe this is the in-ring debut of both of these men. Not positive about Jimmy Coldblood, though. He might have been in a previous episode. I know he was in an announcement for the tournament that was going on a while ago. Um, but I don't know if he ever actually had an in-ring match. But if not, he is having one right now, so. But Guile dominating. I know for sure this is Guile's first in-ring match. Or in-ring debut, I should say. Nice kicks to the back there. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Slammed Guile's face right into the mat. Oh, but down goes Coldblood. The crowd's getting into this match. Oh, and the chop there. Oh, and the drop kick. That had to hurt Guile dominating so far in this match. But now Jimmy Coldblood trying to take, in, take advantage of Guile waiting. But Guile gets right back. And continues. Oh, but down goes Guile. <clears throat> Throw it into the ropes. Oh, wow. That was a very nice move by Jimmy Coldblood. Coldblood doing his best to maintain in this matchup. And he is doing pretty well so far. And the punch to the head. Oh, and a forearm there. Oh, and a running senton. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That was a nice move there. It was like a backward zigzag. Not even sure what that move is called. That was really nice. Oh, but Guile. Oh, and he's tripped yet again. Jimmy Coldblood, the crowd's getting behind him. And a sling blade. Coldblood dragging him to the middle of the ring. For the pin. And a kick out at two by Guile. <clears throat> down goes Guile, shoulders down. Oh, but he kicks out at two yet again. And Cold Blood with a little sling blade there again. And a drop kick. Down goes Guile. The crowd is on their feet. They are screaming like crazy. Now he's got him in the figure four leg lock. Figure four, will Guile tap out? Cold Blood lets go. He wants, he wants Guile to suffer. Now, Coldblood got him in the submission. Will Guile tap out? He does! Here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Coldblood. Winning his first match on the channel. Congratulations to him. See multiple sling blades, multiple submissions, multiple fin pinfall attempts, and he won. Congratulations to Jimmy Coldblood. Yet again, congratulations to him. <clears throat> now we have our next match. And it will be... Oh, my! No, they didn't. They're on battle, too? Jason Voorhees being sent... I was given a list of names on who would be sent to the channel. They're invading both shows. This is insane. Oh my goodness. So I guess it's Jason Voorhees taking on Fire Skull. Man. They didn't even bother enough to give him an entrance. They're just here. Why? Why? Why is management allowing this? We still don't know who is sending these people. Last week it was Slender Man, and now it's Jason. My goodness. This needs to be put to an end. And of course, Fire Skull. making his way to the ring. That was a sudden stop there. A different mask. A nice mask. Instead of the normal skull mask, he apparently made his own, which is pretty cool, actually, so. I still can't believe they got him on both shows. I also want to know why there's always this woman standing in the, in the middle of the ring during people's entrances. Like, what's that all about? Is she, like, the pre-referee or something like that? Like, what? what in the world? Is she there to make sure they don't fight before the match? Who knows? She's always getting in people's way. 
But now Fire Skull trying to fight off the horror horror villains here. Horror villains are here to who knows what they're here to do. They're just here to dominate, I guess. Now I don't understand why. I don't know why they they do this. But now Jason Voorhees attacking Fire Skull. Down goes Fire Skull there. Oh, somebody's holding up a blackout sign. It's a little too late for that, buddy. That was episode five. This is episode seven, man. Get that sign out of here. Monday Night Raw. What? Monday Night Raw? Who? Mm. Okay. I, I see. I see. They're, they're trying to get people to watch WWE instead of this. They're... They, so, somebody eject them. Somebody eject them from the arena, please. Like, now. They, they don't need to be here. If they're going to advertise other wrestling companies, they need to get out. Oh, fire skull in the ropes. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll focus more on the match now. But I was kind of upset that person has a sign that's advertising a different wrestling company. Down goes Jason. Fire school fighting him off. That, that's pretty good. Oh, oh man. Oh, and the knees to the leg of Jason. That had to hurt. Probably not as bad as the, mach the machete to the head, but. He'll suffice. Oh. Oh man. Focusing on the leg of Jason there. Oh, yet again, focusing on the leg of Jason. Fire school with a nice hurricane rana there. Oh, wow, a nice move by Fire school. He is he's an American luchador, which is weird, but um, he is from America. He moved to Mexico for a, for a few years. To study the art of luchador. And he is now a luchador who, for some reason, wears a mask just like all the Hispanic luchadors. Oh my gosh, please don't do this, Jason. Jason, that's unreasonable. I know you're a horror villain, but you, you don't need to do this. Thank goodness Fire School stopping it. What is up with the cameraman? Why does he keep zooming in and out? Oh, but Jason with the punches. Oh, Jason throwing Fire Skull back into the ring now. But yeah, Fire Skull is an American luchador who wears a mask just like all the other luchadors. Whoa. Oh, he's in the ropes now. But yeah, Fire Skull was trained in luchador. Oh, somebody was actually holding up a fire school sign there. That was pretty cool. Um, someone holding up a battle sign as well. Representing. Oh, come on. Jason. First Slender Man. Now it's Jason. What's next? Hannibal Lecter. Somebody like that. He was not on the list, by the way. Well... I don't even know if that was the correct list or not. They were, they just gave me a list. It was smeared at the bottom, so that's... I only know some of the people, I assume, because the bottom of it was all smeared up. But now Jason... But the next match we will be having is... Number one contendership to face Dolph Ziggler. And that is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. It will be a triple threat.
which I was not told who's in this triple threat. I just know it's a triple threat for the number one contendership. So who is it going to be? What the heck? Oh, come on. So now they're putting them in tight. In oh, my gosh. They're putting them in number one contendership matches. I can't even speak. I'm so frustrated. Now they got Michael Myers in here. And, of course, Jeff Hardy and well, half of the um, tag team champions, Drew McIntyre, er, yeah, Drew McIntyre, sorry. This is frustrating. So they got him on both shows, and now they're putting him in no more one contendership matches. I guess that's better than putting him straight into the title matches, but still. That's got to be frustrating for everyone else on the roster who has been here for longer than these horror people. Hopefully we can get an answer to who the heck is leading all these people to come to our show and invade it and ruin the whole show for everyone. All these horror villains don't even know what they're doing here. Here comes Jeff Hardy. The Enigma. I'm sure a lot of people are rooting for Jeff Hardy in this match. Since one, he's not a horror villain. And he's not already a champion, so... I'm sure most people are rooting for him. I know I am. You know. And yet again, they don't even give him an entrance. Slenderman had an entrance last week, but Jason and Michael Myers, they don't have entrances because I guess they're lazy. They just want to use the um, generic entrance. This is uncalled for. It's unneeded. These horror villains need to get out of here. We don't need them here. There's no reason for them to be invading our shows when we're just trying to have a nice company. And now, of course... One half of the smack or the battle tag team champions, Drew McIntyre. Of course, he's a third of the stable, the Empire, and one half of the champions because him and Baron Corbin are the champions and. That was because James Young was in the um, World Championship match, which he did not win, obviously, since Dolph Ziggler is our champion. And the winner of this will actually face Dolph Ziggler, so we could still have the Empire having two of our three championships in the show. Maybe eventually have all three but we sure hope not because dual champions is the worst because then you have less title matches I, I, I hope management makes them defend all their titles in the same night if they get all of them which I sure, like I said I sure hope they don't get all all three of our titles now Michael Myers the disgrace on the channel. These horror villains. Sorry, they just really upset me. Drew McIntyre already going for the pin. And the kick to the back there. But Michael Myers. This is our uh, main event, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so frustrated I can barely speak. 
They have two horror villains on here so far. One on fight, which, like I said, I'm not happy about. Drew McIntyre went for the pin there, but Jeff Hardy kicks out at two. We need to figure out who is doing this and who management is so we can contact them and tell them to stop letting these horror villains come to the channel and destroy everyone. That's not what this company is about. This company is about fair chances, not letting these horror villains skip in line. Because that's just unneeded. And the foot to the elbow of Jeff Hardy. Going for the pin. Kick out by Jeff Hardy. Thrown into the corner. Now Michael Myers, for some reason, teaming up with Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy better not be on the side of the horror villains. Now Drew McIntyre slamming down Michael Myers. now team up by Drew McIntyre and Jeff Hardy so we know that Jeff Hardy is not on the side of the horror villains unless if he's playing us down goes Myers we do not want Michael Myers to be our number one contender he skipped in line in front of everyone else who actually deserved this this number one contendership. But he just said, no, I'm going to join the match. And I'm going to be the number one contender. That's not how it works, for one. And two, you're not going to be the number one contender because you are terrible. That That's the, my thoughts about Michael Myers. He's terrible. All the other horror villains have been winning their matches. Let's hope this cycle does not continue. Nice move by Jeff Hardy onto Michael Myers. Oh, but Drew McIntyre picking up Jeff Hardy. Oh, but Jeff Hardy with a twist of fate. Jeff Hardy hits the twist of fate on Drew McIntyre going for the pin. Michael Myers, you better not touch him. It wouldn't have mattered anyway because Drew McIntyre kicked out at one. Now Michael Myers getting involved. And the double team by him and Drew McIntyre. Now the pin. He kicks out. Michael Myers is outside the ring. Oh, and Jeff Hardy with a nice move. Michael Myers, you better stand back. Oh, a nice move by Jeff Hardy there. A leg drop. No, Michael Myers grabbing the arm, but Jeff Hardy reverses it. Thank goodness, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy's dominating this match. Beating up Michael Myers. Going for the pin. And Drew McIntyre breaks it up. Now they're teaming up again. Drew McIntyre might be on the side of the horror villains. But he better not be. He's already in a team himself. I don't even know if the horror villains are considered a team. Oh, and the pin by Jeff Hardy. But Drew McIntyre broke it up. Oh, a pin again. Drew McIntyre is just taunting. But a kick out at two by Michael Myers. Oh, twist of fate. Hits it on Michael Myers. And he went for the kick there. But Drew McIntyre was trying to steal the pin. Jeff Hardy with the drop kicks to stop it. Oh, no, Drew McIntyre for the pin. He might steal Jeff. Okay, Drew McIntyre did not pin Michael Myers for the three count. He almost had him, though. Oh, no. Now Michael Myers teaming up with Jeff Hardy. One, two. Michael Myers broke it up. Michael Myers needs to get out. He doesn't need to be here. And 
the drop kick to the back of Drew McIntyre. Jeff Hardy is actually deserving of this match. But Michael Myers is not deserving of this. Now Michael Myers is going for the pin, but Jeff Hardy trying to break it up, and he does. I don't know what kind of spin that was that Michael Myers just did. Oh, in the knee to the gut of Michael Myers. Down goes Jeff Hardy. Drew McIntyre for the pin. Will he be the number one contender? He is. This is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. At least Michael Myers didn't win, though, so that's, that's a good thing. Michael Myers does not deserve number one contendership. I wouldn't say Drew McIntyre does either because he is half of the SmackDown tag champions, or battle tag champions, sorry. Um, but he won the match fair and square, I guess. He did kind of steal Jeff Hardy's win, but, you know, he did pin Jeff Hardy, so I guess it is what it is. But that was our main event, ladies and gentlemen. A very exciting yet frustrating episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.